Good afternoon, everyone. I'll give you a few moments to join us. We're so happy to have you guys. We'll give one more second before I share my screen here. All right, well, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my name is Andrea Castle Bretz. I'm the executive assistant of PACAC. That's the Pennsylvania Association for College Admission Counseling. We are a organization of 1,200 members. Those are high school counselors, college admission professionals, uh, independent education consultants, all the people who really want to see you succeed and help you with that transition to post-secondary education. Um, today, we are going to learn about Marymount. Um, you have the option of asking questions at any time, so please feel free to use that Q&A box. Even though your cameras and microphones are off, again, the Q&A box is the perfect way to ask questions. They will answer them throughout the presentations, either verbally or they'll go ahead and answer it in that box. We have tons of sessions between now and November 6th, so if there's any others you'd like to attend, please feel free to go back to that website, virtual, um, slash virtual, and that's also where the recordings are gonna be. So if you want to check out this session again or any others, that's where you go. So without further ado, I am going to turn it over to my friends at Marymount. Hi, Andrea. Thank you so much for being our facilitator today um, and giving us that bit of needed information. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So um, my name is Taz. I have worked with Marymount Manhattan for a little over a year. So there's a lot I know, and there are some things that I still might not know. Uh, so my email will be at the end of this presentation. Feel free to send me an email. I'm always happy to get back to my students. But a little bit about Marymount Manhattan. Uh, we are on the Upper East Side of New York City. Um, so we are an urban campus literally in the city. <laughs> we do have about 1900 undergraduates total, which equates to about 11 to one student to faculty ratio. So we like having that small classroom size setting. And if you, if that is something you are looking for, Marymount, Marymount, sorry, might be a good place for you to look. We don't necessarily have a big lecture hall of 100 kids. We usually just have the small classroom size. Um, we also do have about 31 majors and 45 minors for you, for you to choose from, all ranging from the fine and performing arts to, of course, some liberal arts like speech pathology, psychology, business, things of the like. Um, and we do have students coming from 49 states, including Puerto Rico, and about 33 countries. So we're not just a commuter school, as some people may think. We do have students coming from Florida, California, Texas. I personally recruit in Pennsylvania, Delaware, uh, and the DMV area. So this is just to give you a visual of what um, our campus looks like. Uh, that top marker that you see there, that is where our academic campus is. Uh, so it's on the corner of, sorry, it's on East 71st Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. Uh, and then the one in the middle is our 55th Street Residence Hall, for, which is reserved for our first year students, uh, which I'll speak on a little bit later. And the one all the way at the bottom, that is the Upperclassmen Residence Hall, which is reserved for our upperclassmen and transfer students. Uh, the 55th Street Residence Hall is about 15, 16 blocks away, which is about a block a minute. So it's about 15, 16 minute walk away. If you don't feel like walking, there is a city bus that will take you all the way up to campus. And the one all the way at the bottom, the Cooper Square Residence Hall, that is about about a 20 minute train ride, depending on how MTA feels that day. They can be a bit temperamental. <laughs> um, it's about, um, I think five stops away. It's a straight shot. Um, so it's pretty much impossible for you to get lost. <laughs> So something I like to highlight about our career services, like every other college, you know, we do have the resume and cover letter building, the mock interviews, career counseling, things of the like. Um, but what is unique about our career services is that we have something called the City Edge Program. This is a program that I encourage all of my students to take full advantage of 
because you're already paying for it. So uh, that's a plus. Um, definitely take advantage of this because this is what takes you out of the classroom and into the practical side of things. So let's say, for instance, you are learning how to do a business proposal or you're doing the practicing class, the theoreticals, things like that. Uh, you can then now go out into New York City, find a business and actually do a actual business proposal for a company. So that is also something uh, that is very helpful towards our students. Um, and the picture that you see there on the right, that's not just a random compilation where you got it off of Google, although we did get the pictures off of Google. <laughs> um, these are actual places where our students ended up, whether it was an internship or a job after college. So as you can see, it ranges from healthcare to business to performing, so many different art areas in which our students were very successful in. And then something else we do have is a boutique to help our students uh, prepare in the attire sense. So you're ready to uh, go in and ace that interview just because you're very professionally dressed. <laughs> And this is just to show what we are doing is working at graduation last year and about six months after graduation, about 87% of our students graduated either with a job, a job offer, or they're attending graduate school. Uh, this plays back to our small classroom sizes. Our students have been getting into the top choice for graduate school because the professor, they got a chance to know them, got them on the right track, and they're writing dazzling recommendations for our students. So they're being very successful in multiple uh, fields of work. So no matter what it is you are studying, you're going to need 120 credits to graduate. Your major will take up a good chunk of that pie. If you think of a pie cut into thirds, uh, your major will take up a good chunk of that. Depending on if you're a BFA major or not, you uh, it will range on the amount of credits you're taking. Uh, your general education requirements uh, will take up another part of that pie. And of course, the electives will take up the remaining. Something I tend to forget to mention is that whenever you get an internship, you can get up to five internships for credit. So if you are acquiring some internships, you're already knocking off some electives right there. And we also pay you. So many places I've heard of, you're either doing an internship where it's either credits or money, whereas with us, you are getting both money and credit, which I think is a great deal. Um, as for general education requirements, all of our incoming first years have to take the foundation course of math and writing. It is required, this cannot be skipped unless you have any AP scores in that subject, subject area of a four or higher. Um, if you have any IB scores, high level IB scores of a four or higher, or if you are dual enrolled in college in those subject areas and you get a C minus or higher. If you have those minimum requirements, feel free to send over your information to us, and then you can skip foundation course and go all the way, uh, go throughout the next general education steps. Um, if you have those uh, grades in any other subjects, by all means, feel free to send them still. They can qualify for maybe something else, maybe a different um, requirement, or we'll take it as an elective. So just a little snapshot of our, at our averages. Our average GPA is about a 3.6. Average SAT is about 1100. Average ACT is 24. Now, this is just the average. Uh, don't feel um, worried if you think your GPA of, or if your grades don't match up. Uh, and that's fine because we take a holistic view at your grades. Um, not everyone is strong in their grades, but they are strong in different areas. We won't necessarily judge a fish on how high it could climb a tree. Why would we do it when it comes to our students? So we take a holistic approach. We look, we look at your essay, we look at your recommendation, we look at just your application in total before we make a final decision. So do not be discouraged if you feel your grades are a little bit below the average. However, if you meet the average or you even surpass the average, then great, perfect. You can then start to qualify for some merit-based scholarships, which I will talk about as we go throughout. So this is just a snapshot of our programs, feel free to take a quick look, feel free to screenshot, whatever you prefer. Um, we do have, of course, a BA and BFA and in the fine and performing arts. And we do have some Bachelor of Science in some other areas as well. The one thing I like to highlight about our pro programs is that our students can graduate with multiple majors under their belt. They can do something called double dipping. Double dipping, uh, one course, you will take one course and it could satisfy a requirement for two different majors. So it's very rare that a student graduates with only one degree. <laughs> Many of our students, they pick up another major, they pick up a minor, um, just because it's so, it's so easy for our students to graduate uh, very well-rounded. 
If you ever want to get an idea of what you will be taking throughout your four years with us, go on our website, mmm.edu, select the major that you're interested in studying. And if you uh, click view curriculum requirements, it's either at the side or on the bottom, it will give you a snapshot of what you will be taking across your four years with us at Marymount. So study abroad, I understand it's a bit of a touchy subject <laughs> at the time, um, but I will talk very briefly on this slide. What makes our study abroad program unique is that we allow you to go anywhere in the world that you want to. So if you want to go to France, Spain, Australia, uh, Ireland, <laughs> wherever it may be, if you want to spin the globe and point your finger, by all means, feel free to go. We only have two main requirements. The first requirement is that it has to be safe. If it is not safe, I am sorry, but you are not going. We, we have, um, safety is our number one priority, uh, so that is the first thing that we look at. The, set, the next uh, requirement is that whatever you are studying across the seas has to come back and match a course requirement with us. So for instance, if you're doing business um, and you decide to go to France to study fashion marketing, it's perfectly fine. I feel I do believe a marketing class is required <laughs> on a, for a business requirement, uh, graduation degree. So as long, that's what I mean when I say whatever you're studying abroad has to come back and match a course requirement with us. So as long as those two requirements are met, by all means, feel free to go travel the world. Um, I definitely encourage all of my students to do it. I spent two years in London and it was the best time of my life. So by all means, see what you can do and see the world. So I mentioned the residence halls earlier. Uh, if you remember, the one in the middle was the 55th Street Residence Hall and the one at the bottom is the Cooper Square Residence Hall. All of our residence halls are apartment style. So that means you have a kitchen, a bathroom and a living room uh, shared amongst um, your the separate uh, residence. It's about two to three bedrooms uh, with ranging between three and four people in an apartment. Of course, the more people, the extra space you're gonna have for a bathroom, because I can imagine five people, one bathroom will not be a fun time. <laughs> So uh, all of our residence halls, they come with fitness facilities, laundry facilities, 24 hour security, 24 hour study lounge. Um, and they, uh, whenever you sign up for residency, you automatically get a thousand dining dollars. We only give you a thousand because you do have the option to cook your own food because you do have the kitchen in your apartment. And there are some locations around our Marymount Manhattan buildings that take your dining dollars. We do also have a cafeteria on campus if you do want to come and eat the food. I, want, for one, can say the food is amazing. I used to eat there all the time. <laughs> um, if you are interested in seeing what a residence hall look like, just go on our website and go under uh, visit up opportunities and under the virtual tour, there is a YouTube video about three minutes long so you can get an idea of what uh, the 55th Street Hall residence look like. Um, it is not required for you to live on campus, but it is guaranteed. So if you do want to come and get an apartment, by all means, you're welcome to. However, if you decide to stay on campus with us for all four years, you are welcome to that as well. Option is up to you. So we do have about 35 clubs and organizations for you to join. The only thing we don't necessarily have, we don't have any sports. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get an arena in the middle of New York City. Um, and we don't have any Greek. Marymount Manhattan, we pride ourselves on inclusivity and we feel that Greek can be a bit exclusive. So um, aside from those two clubs, we have an arrangement of other clubs that you can join. We have a uh, cultural, such as the Black Latino Student Association. We have, of course, some educational, some hob things you might be interested in as hobby. We have performance performing arts clubs. Um, if there's something you want to be on a club, um, on our club list, actually, feel free to create your own club. Our students help make our college. So if we need a whole new group, by all means, feel free. You're welcome to start a different uh, club. So you're ready to apply. You're like, oh my God, Taz, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, we do have two applications. We are on Common App. So if you are already doing Common App, feel free to just add Marymount Manhattan to the list. Uh, if not, we do have our own application, which is found on our website. We are going to need a high school transcript from you. We are test optional for the fall 21 school year uh, start term. So if you have your SATs and you want to submit them, by all means, you are welcome to. If you do not have them, that's okay as well. We will just be looking at the rigor of your coursework. So they are not required. We are going to need at least one recommendation letter from you between one to three. We ask no more than three. And we are going to need one essay from you. But there is a $60 non-refundable application fee. If you want some fee waiver codes, you will find my email at the end of this slide. Send me an email, say, hey, Taz, how you doing? I saw your video. Um, I'm interested in uh, signing up or getting a fee waiver code. Is that possible? And I'll be happy to assist you. 
So we do have three main decision, uh, decision plans. Uh, the popular tend to be the early action and regular admission. Early decision is a bit binding. So if you want to keep your options open, I suggest you only look at early action or regular decision. The main difference between the two is that early action, you find out your decision a bit sooner and you get priority consideration for financial aid. So that's something to keep in mind. And also if anyone here is interested in the fine and performing arts, I suggest you submit your application as soon as possible. Uh, there are two ways that auditions are happening. Auditions are happening, sorry. Um, so in order for you to get access to those auditions, submit your application as soon as possible. As for regular admission, that just means we look at applications on a rolling basis. So whenever you're ready to submit your application, by all means, feel free and we will review them. The average cost to attend this year is about $56,000 if you are living on campus with us. If you decide to get your own apartment or if you have a family or friend that lives in New York City, um, then you will just have the sticker price of $37,000. I encourage everyone here to apply for FAFSA. Um, and I say that because there's nothing to lose. <laughs> Not only does the government review your FAFSA application, but Marymount Manhattan reviews it as well. So if the government looks at it and thinks, you know, you can only qualify for $10,000, we might look at your application and say, you can actually qualify for an extra $5,000. Here you go. So definitely, definitely apply for FAFSA. Uh, for some odd reason, if we are not in the top 10, we cannot access your FAFSA application. I'm not sure why. I don't make the rules. But even if we are number 11, we still cannot access it. So just make sure Marymount Manhattan is in the top 10. And of course, make sure your social is listed on the application. Not mom, dad, brother, sister. It has to be you, the student. So we can match you up with your application so we can create a financial aid packet for you. So scholarships, merit-based scholarships. Actually, we do offer two scholarships. I misspoke. We offer the merit and the talent-based scholarship. The merit-based scholarship, that goes up to $18,000 a year, and that is decided off of your scores at the time of application. You are automatically considered for it when you submit your application. Um, the, the next is the talent-based scholarship, and that is dependent on the department that you are applying for. That goes up to $10,000, um, and that depends on how well you do in your performance. So definitely come out, give me your best self, give me nothing but confidence so we can get you the highest possible out there. All of our scholarships are renewable for all four years. You just have to keep your grades up and you will be having your scholarships renewed. I encourage everyone here to look at external scholarships. We do have a page on our website dedicated to ex external scholarships where you can do some research and uh, see what you qualify for. They literally give out money for anything. If you are a first gen, if you have curly hair, if you are a middle child, <laughs> they give out money um, for anything. It might be small, it might be about $500, but they add up. If you apply to five and you get awarded three, we will accept all three that you are awarded to help with that out-of-pocket cost. So keep that in mind and do some research. So if you just go on mmm.edu and just search external scholarships on our website, there is a list combined that you can do some research and see what you apply for. In terms of talent-based scholarships, uh, auditions this year are either digital or live, aud live auditions. That's basically like a Zoom session. You just doing about an hour, maybe two to three, um, in which they, you will be doing your piece and then they'll be making cuts. And then after the cuts, then they'll be doing uh, more reviews. So we do not favor either digital or live, just as long as you get your audition in, you will be fine. And then join us for some other opportunities. Uh, your first step is that you made it here. And I thank you so much for that. Marymount Manhattan, we are hosting two virtual open houses. The first is this Saturday, October 24th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Unfortunately, if you can't make that, we do have another one on November 15th. I do believe that one starts at 1 p.m. and goes until 3.30 p.m. If you are interested, uh, if a parent wants to make their info session or whatever it may be, we do have weekend information sessions. It's basically, basically gonna be this with the added component of a virtual tour, if you are interested. We are also doing in-person tours on our campus. Just go on our website, mmm.edu slash visit and schedule your appointment time. We are restrict restricting it to two families per visit. So keep that in mind. And then apply today. <laughs> I look forward to reading your applications. Um, if you haven't submitted already, please feel free to submit as soon as you can. If you have submitted already, make sure you have, you are accessing your student portal and all of your documents have been submitted. 
And then that is the conclusion of my presentation. I know I just threw a lot of information at you, so feel free to utilize the Q&A, um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. If anything pops up, maybe tonight at three o'clock when you're falling asleep, <laughs> feel free to send me an email um, and I'll be checking your checking my email to then answer your question. So I'm always happy and willing to talk to my students. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to welcome Megan. Megan is a current student that we have here on campus. Um, and I would just like for her to talk a bit about your experiment, experience. How do you like uh, Marymount? What's, what's the stitch? <laughs> Yeah, so I am currently a junior. I'm a double major in BA theater with a concentration in producing and management and public relations with a minor in arts management. So like Ta said, it's really rare to find somebody here who is not double majoring, who has like 5 million minors. Um, <laughs> it's really wonderful just because like I've been able to individualize my track. I wouldn't have been able to do that anywhere else the same way. Um, I'm actually super involved on campus. Um, I was a resident in the residence halls for my first two years. So I was able to experience like fully living on campus in New York City. Um, I am the vice president of our school's Mickey Mouse Club because um, I'm a big Disney fan. So you truly can kind of create organizations based off of your interests. We have a bunch of fun people here at Marymount. Um, and I'm also a tour guide um, with the Office of Admissions. So, I work with Taz and it's really fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I love Marymount. Um, and I essentially chose Marymount just because of the community that it provides here. Um, the school was actually the first um, school that I got mail from when I was still in high school. And so ever since then, I was like, I don't know, I'm getting really good vibes from the school. I don't know what it is. And so Every single time I visited the school, like afterwards, I was like, oh my goodness, I, people were remembering my names, like people were already remembering my faces. I was connecting with other incoming students, which was wonderful. Like I met um, one of my best friends now and like my current roommate um, from one of the admissions events. So I highly recommend you go to the events. They're very different online. Um, but still like definitely go to the virtual information sessions and the open houses if you can. Um, there are lots of sirens outside, so I apologize if that's picking up <laughs> on the mic. Um, but you're fine. You're good. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Um, but yeah, Marymount is wonderful. The community here is so great. Faculty members and students are really putting your best interests in mind. Um, and I feel like I've really been able to flourish as an individual and as an adult. Um, and so I feel prepared, prepared as I can be with the pandemic. <laughs> and everything uh, but I feel ready to tackle the world um I just love Marymount and I know I have to say that because I work here but like I, I genuinely do love Marymount um that's why I'm here um I've I've had I've taken really amazing classes I met really awesome people I've networked with so many professors and I love the staff here um so definitely keep us in mind I appreciate appreciate you so much for that Megan <laughs> <laughs> that you're not just saying it because you work for us, that you actually know you do love Marymount and I, lo I, and I love it. Um, you, first of all, I love your mask. I know I said this before, but Thank it's you. giving me that smiley energy. Um, okay. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite class so far that you've taken at Marymount? Okay, so it has to be a tie between two. Um, in the communications department, I took a course called Interpersonal Communications. And so you can take it kind of like as your disciplinary course or like your one of your gen ed courses here. It's a 100 level class. Um, but not only has it helped me in communications because it was a requirement, but it's actually really helped me as a stage manager for theater. It's really helped me kind of figure out what I need to focus on in communicating with the production team, communicating with actors, and even communicating in my personal life and communicating with friends and like uh, my supervisors and stuff with work. And so that class was amazing. Um, and also my freshman year, um, so everybody at Marymount is required to take like your entry level writing courses, entry level math courses, but the writing courses are super fun. Each of them have a different topic. And I took one in the, in the spring of my freshman year that was all about superheroes in the city. And I'm a big like Marvel fan, love superheroes. And it was really interesting tying in just like, just like cultural implications of like having superheroes be such a part of just like the way that we 
few media. I don't know. It was, it was, it was a really cool class and I never thought I'd be taking a writing class based on superheroes. It was wonderful. Sorry, I had a bit of trouble unmuting myself, but now I'm, I'm, now I'm interested in taking that class uh, <laughs> just great. for free because I like superheroes and Disney too. So mm -hmm. um, we have a lot to talk about. Um, <laughs> what is the best part about coming to New York City, you think? Oh, the best part about coming to New York City. I'm actually, I'm from Staten Island, so I'm like close, but I'm far enough <laughs> away. I'm like, I, it's not the same. I, I'm from the outer borough, so it's like totally different experience. But there's a reason why I haven't left New York City because I love Manhattan so much. Seriously, like the city is your campus. I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's 100% true here at Marymount. Like, it's it's just amazing. I'm able to explore kind of like whatever I want here. Specifically in theater, it's it's really great for me. I'm like exposed to some of the, like the highest level of theater in the world and I can go after class I can simply just go hop on like I don't know which train off the top of my head it's been a hot minute but like yeah. <laughs> I'm able to like hop on the train after class and it's, it's really great and like I'm able to do internships and in, like in the city like at the same time as I'm like doing classes and it's it's really wonderful yeah that highlights so of course like i said earlier with the uh mm -hmm. professional experience like we definitely use the fact that we're in the city for you to get out there and build yourself which is yeah. amazing and like you said you're like i feel ready <laughs> and you're already yeah. a junior you're only a junior you have another mm -hmm. year left um so that's one thing i'm very happy you said um <laughs> and then i think i'll just leave it at uh one more question I'm trying to think of one hmm It's taken a while. Oh, there we go. What is your favorite class? No, I asked that question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why did you pick Marymount? Let's just let's just pick it at that and call it a day. Um, I picked Marymount um, again, like I was saying before, just because of the community that's provided here. Um, my high school was one of the smaller ones on Staten Island, one of the smaller public schools, and so. I felt a community there and I wanted to experience that again, but that's really hard to find at a lot of bigger universities and like colleges. Um, but Marymount is just kind of like, it's a nice little home base and a really big, overwhelming, wonderful city. Um, and it's, it's enabled me to kind of individualize my personal brand the way that I want to um, just because like, Again, like there, I don't think there's another school where I'd be able to study like stage management, public relations, and like the business side of the industry, like all wrapped into one. Like, I don't think there's anywhere else where I could have done that. And so for that, I'm like forever grateful. And especially just the internship opportunity. I, um, if anybody's like watching um, later and is like interested in like theater, like I, I just interned with um, an, a really big off-Broadway company, Primary Stages over the summer just because the executive director was my one of my professors, I made that connection. And like, that's crazy that that happened. It, so it's just, it's really cool. So I essentially chose the school just to have opportunities like that and more. So it's, it's great. And thank you so much. And there you have it. Everybody watching this video, apply to Mary Mom because you get opportunities like this that you won't necessarily find anywhere else. <laughs> so thank you, Megan, so much for joining. Sorry if I repeated some questions. <laughs> and um, yeah, guys, uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Both me and Megan are always happy to talk to interested students. So thank you for joining us today. And I will pass it back to Andrea. Thanks so much, Taz and Megan. Um, I've actually never been there, but funny story is I inherited a Marymount College uh, t-shirt. So for years I would wear it. Um, I get, in my job, I get college shirts all the time. So um, I definitely represented the school a little bit, um, but now I feel like I need to go visit. <laughs> definitely come to visit like I said we got about two open spots every day <laughs> so you are welcome to or once the world is turning and open and safe mm -hmm. you don't have to wear masks uh feel free to just pop in so perfect all right let me just go over a few things but thank you so much again for sharing all of that great information 
Um, but just to wrap up, uh, we do have a quick survey at the end. And don't forget to sign up for more sessions. Uh, we have lovely sessions like these where you learn about one school and all the details. And we also have panels where you can learn about um, just different topics from uh, writing essays to financial aid to um, finding the right fit. And all the recordings um, for this and more are at the same website, pacact.org slash virtual. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Enjoy the nice weather. Bye.